Hello all, this is a short video about to showing uh, this little guy, it's a step down converter, uh, I think it is uh, It is pulsing, I guess. But the main thing is it's connected to the solar panel. Uh, I will get 20 volts. We get this. This is the input voltage, 20.5 volts. And this is the output voltage, 30.9. So uh, this is the amp meter connected between the this power supply and uh, solar panel I'm taking now 0.7 amps and uh, I have wires connected to this battery through the uh, amp meter again and uh, I'm charging the battery in 0.9 amps now it's taking 0.69 because the battery is charging up and 0 0.9 is going to the battery it's set it on 30.8 13.9 this this is not so good as the normal meter but it's only showing something and um, the main thing is this uh, this acts like a mppt charger at this moment almost mppt it's, it can do on I was saying this is uh, acting as float charge I set up the float voltage it is possible to do this by a timer by changing uh, replacing this with a microcontroller output uh, the resistor uh, to the digital uh, part uh, it is possible and uh, take the voltage of the battery and do it automatic if you want so or use the timer uh, if you use a certain amp hour battery you can use a timer to do a, a bulk charge 14.4 volts but at this moment it's taking 600 milliamps and it's charging 8 uh, 900 milliamps so it is uh, doing something as MPPT charger. I'm only this is a very cheap, a couple bucks on. Uh, I don't remember like four or five bucks on eBay from China. So this is a very very cheap way to replace uh, MPPT charger if you have a very small panel where you don't want to waste one hundred dollar for that small panel on MBPD charger so yeah this is working very well so this is the reason why I'm making this video so you people can actually take more of your solar panel this way and the float voltage is only what you need from the batteries if you are not using them much because uh, it will recharge 80-90% already to float voltage you don't need bulk charge if you are not taking everything out uh, this will work very well and keep the battery life up uh, next I will uh, change these wires they are very thin this is because 0 0.88 I'm actually doing it right now and continuing the video after that Okay, I got the wires changed now. <laughs> I put the meter directly there. And uh, well, the wires are so. the length now is smallest as it can be. It's taking now one amp again because it was disconnected and this battery is very old. So it will take again current. And the meter is so 1.3 and uh, 0 0.9. 1.28 0 0.9 So I, I can take this to get a comparison I will do the measure in 1 meter 
in case the meters are not showing right battery is ending on this but we use zero now DC um, 0 0.86 about and yeah it's taking definitely more way more 1.1 now I, I'm measuring in same matter so the tolerance of these matters they are very cheap ones so we, we trust if we, we use the same matter showing again 0 0.80 from the solar panel and it going here on this power supply and after that yeah, way over one amp yeah was just uh, to show you guys this uh, cheap method to get a bit more of the solar panel I can do now next to connect directly to the solar panel but it will take <laughs> I think it will take maximum of it 22 amps or so no point connecting that there is nothing regulating the circuit if you use small batteries they are hazard to them but I have these big ones so I have connected directly without any diode it will just charge full full potential well thanks for watching I hope this helps